Hi, hello, vanakkam and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Sly YouTube channel. So in our previous video, I showed you about how to use the WebRedge Save Param regular expression. I have even take you through each and every step of how to define this and what are all the, re, uh, the meaning of using this ordinal, the group, the scope, the last, everything. So in case you missed it, please do check the link in my playlist. So now let me show you what is the difference between the same the, the webridge safe param and the webridge uh, the regular expression and the normal webridge safe param so and I will also take you through what all the differences the advantages between both of them so uh, so let's let me just write you the light write and show you the function so I'm going to just write the web reg, sorry webridge safe param so this function so both the webridge save param regular expression and the webridge save params function is is to extract the value from the rec from the response but they are differs they differ in few ways so let me show you that so let me just create a brackets and let's close it and now so the same way like the previous one so let's give the name for the parameter name so previously in the regular expression we have given a parameter name a separate parameter name but here we are not going to give any parameter name and it's, it's just going to be the session session j session id and the param so we have we are directly declaring the value and then let's move on to the next variable which is the lb so what is lb so lb is the left boundary so here you can see our objective is to extract this value here so we are defining this j session id is equal to as the left boundary so let me copy it so i'm copying it I'm pasting it here so this is going to be my left sorry my left boundary and now let me move to the right boundary so in the right boundary here at the end you can see i have the value which is the double quotes right so I'm going to add this double quotes here so even in fact there is this value the question mark so how I'm how am I going to escape this is I'm going to write a slash function and then a double quote and another double quote so this will be my right boundary and then at the end I'm going to search it inside the body so I'll be searching it inside the body so same way we have defined at the top so here you can see we have defined the scope but here I am giving it a search inside the body and here we do not have any search filters but instead we just have it as search is equal to body and we do not have for this moment and for this example we do not add any ordinal or group so we get just going to search the values with the left boundary and the right boundary and then finally the last so we know what is the meaning of last so this will tell the load runner that there are no more regular expressions will be extracted as part of this session so we are going to end this that there are going no more regular expressions or no more web breadth save, save parameter this code so let me come down so I'm going to use the same code here so previously we used it for the j session id value i'm going to use this now for the j session id param so let me just copy paste it and now let me execute it let me just save it for a moment and then let me execute it so here you can see the values are extracted right so the value the extracted j session id value here and then both both the values are here this is j session id param and the j session id so it does the same work but then why do we need the regular expression and the normal one so let me see let me tell you the difference between why we need two types of uh, in fact we do have like multiple types of regular expressions and in fact i will take each of them in, in separate session so first let me explain you why is or what is the difference between both of them so first let me tell about the web red save param regular expression so the regular expression based extraction 
is designed for extracting values using regular expressions. So it allows us to specify complex patterns for capturing data from responses. So in many of the interviews, the interviewer might ask you that what is your regular expression or how will you extract in case if there is a different combinations of right boundary and left boundary. So in those scenarios, you will have to write the web rate safe param regular expression. So that's why I have given you this as an example and in most of the scenarios, the web rate safe param might not work. And then coming back to the second option the, or the second advantage is the flexible matching. So with regular expressions, we have more flexibility in specifying how the data should be located and captured within the response. And next comes the grouping. So we can capture specific groups within a regular expression, which is useful when we want to extract a specific parts of a value. And then comes the complex scenario. So in case if you are handling a complex scenario, so this regular expression will be the ideal choice for scenarios where the data we want to extract does not have a simple left and right boundary. So the only one disadvantage I have or I used to I can tell as part of the regular expression is regular expression can be complex to write and maintain. So if the response format changes, the regular expression might need to be updated. And that's the only disadvantage I would say. But apart from that, the WebRate Safe Param regular expression will save you most of the places because it's very, very useful to you. But when, come, when it comes to WebRate Safe Param, it's boundary-based extraction. So that's the difference. The previous one is the regular expression-based extraction. But here, this one is the boundary-based extraction. So this function is designed for capturing values based on fixed left and right boundaries. It's simpler to use when the data we want to extract has a consistent format. And the next one is the ease of use. So if the response contains data enclosed by clear delimiters, example like some text between the left boundary and the right boundary. So it's easier to it's easier actually to and very quicker to set up. And then the performance. So it can be more efficient than the regular expressions because it does not involve the complexity of regular expression matching. And finally, the uh, disadvantage I would say when it comes to WebRate Safe Param is the limited flexibility. So we are limited to extracting data based on static boundaries. And if there are, again, if the response format changes, we may need to update the boundaries. But in most of the scenarios, it might not happen. But still, if in case there are any changes, we might need to update the code. So what will you choose between the regular expression and the, the normal WebRate Safe Param? So if the data I want to extract is consistent and can be reliably captured with the fixed boundaries. WebRate Safe Param is easier to use and may perform better. But in case if the data has a complex or variable format, I would need to extract specific portion of a value using regular expressions. So in those scenarios, the WebRate Safe Param regular expression offers more flexibility. So with that, I come to an end. I will upload this script in my load runner github thing so in case if you want i can share you the uh, link of this github in the in the comment section please do follow for more videos until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye for masan shanmugam and little sla